In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic cross dissolve and that is fading from one video clip to another right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we've got two video clips on the timeline, you want to make sure they're sitting next to each other to begin with. So we've got this first clip here and then I've got this second video clip here. Now, I want to fade from this shot here into this shot. So I'm going to drag this first shot up onto video layer two. I'm going to find the point where I want to do the fade. So we'll do the fade about here. And I'm going to drag this second video clip underneath that first video clip. And we'll pull that up to the line here. Now, on video layer two, you just want to select, go up to the motion tab, scroll down, and you'll find opacity select the add or remove keyframe option. So we'll select that button there. We'll scroll across and then we'll pull this number from 100 down to zero. Now, when we play this back, you'll notice we've got this really nice and really soft fade out from one clip into another. Now, if you wanted to speed that transition up, then all you have to do is decrease the gap between these two keyframes. So we'll pull this second keyframe over to the left and that fade from the first clip to the second clip is only gonna take half a second. And then alternatively, if you wanted to increase the gap and you wanted a longer fade, then you just do the opposite. You increase the gap between the keyframes. And then when we play this back, we've got this really nice slow fade from one clip into another video clip. Now there's one last thing that you can do if you wanted to add a bit of style to this fade, and that is to select those both keyframes right click and select ease in. This is your keyframe interpolation. And this basically means when you hit your first keyframe, rather than suddenly dropping into that fade out, it's gonna slowly accelerate into that fade out. It makes a much more seamless transition. We'll just play that back. And there you go. That is how you do a cross dissolve from one video clip to another. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next one.